by corruption we mean abuse of power for private gain whether it is high level corruption of the big fish or petty level corruption of the small fries corruption involves abuse of entrusted power for private gain we talk of corruption in bangladesh no country in the world is free from corruption in bangladesh we talk of health sector corruption particularly because of the covid crisis which has exposed the sector no sector in bangladesh is free from corruption it is deep and wide and if any other sector could be under similar pressure the situation could be more or less the same or it could be it could be, it could be more the only thing is that in case of health sector the deep seated corruption of accumulated over the years has been exposed due to the covid crisis moreover a section of the corrupt people who always look for such opportunities of crisis to be converted into festival of corruption have been active and exposed the sector to worst form of vulnerabilities to corruption so in order to control corruption since it is abuse of power there are according to global experiences three key pre key preconditions of effective corruption control one is political will at the highest level through the bottom we in bangladesh are lucky that the prime minister has been talking about zero tolerance against corruption for the last several years and particularly in the covid context she has spoken about no tolerance of corruption in covid response however like in any other country corruption is not controlled by the prime minister or, or head of the government herself those who are mandated or authorized to implement the political pledge uh, a section a section of them are in fact beneficiaries or participants or colluders or protectors of corruption hence the political pledge remains a political rhetoric rather than reality the second thing is about bringing the corrupt to justice or punishing the corrupt according to the law for which there are institutions law enforcement agencies especially the anti corruption commission who are mandated by law and by institution capacity to control corruption which i think they have unfortunately however the anti corruption commission has defined a dividing line for itself beyond which it is reluctant to go or unwilling to cross based on the identity or status of the individuals it is perceived to be politically influenced or it it lets itself so perceived to be so perceived as a result of which it has not been able to demonstrate the to hold the corrupt to justice without fear or favor the third element is about the institutions not only the anti corruption commission but also other institutions of democratic accountability namely the parliament the judiciary the law enforcement agencies the administration the election commission and so on and so forth and regrettably these institutions have been over the years rendered partisan politically biased and themselves corrupt to a large extent as a result of which they have been rendered dysfunctional in terms of their capacity and effectiveness to deliver the mandate that they have in terms of corruption control so whereas we have all the three preconditions met in terms of laws and regulations and institutions capacities 
in terms of enforcement we are lagging behind unless we can improve the practices at all these three levels it is hard to imagine corruption to be controlled in Bangladesh to complement we need the people to stand up people are standing up people are reluctant to accept corruption people are fed up with corruption however that also is often restrained by a tendency of the powers that be a section of the powers that be to control flow of information on, on corruption to co control disclosure of corruption reporting on corruption rather than to control corruption itself so it is a vicious circle unless and until this vicious circle is broken it will remain hard and difficult to control corruption in bangladesh mm -hmm.